guys, so to begin, I'm just going to prep my face by using the Benefits Professional and this is a brilliant primer and concealer in one. Then I'm going to take my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer and I'm going to pack this onto my lid to act as a primer and I'm also bringing it under the eyes just to cover any discoloration, any dark circles and this is a brilliant concealer. I really highly recommend it. It covers everything. So I'm, now I'm just going to pack a little bit of powder onto my lid and I, please excuse the state of the palette. I am super embarrassed by it um, but they are completely sold out at the moment and I have nothing else so you know what can a girl do. Anyways I'm taking a beige eyeshadow from my Stila palette and I'm just going to sweep this all over my lid and again this is just going to give a little bit of extra coverage to the lid. Now I'm dipping into this lovely warm brown eyeshadow from the Stila palette, it's about two shades darker than my natural skin tone and leaving my eyes open I'm blending this back and forth above my crease just to give a very natural contour to the lid. If you don't have an eyeshadow like this you could use the BCC contour palette, the lighter shade there is perfect. So I'll really take my time in this blending back and forth. I also have to mention how amazing this brush is. It's really flexible. Now I'm taking a matte brown eyeshadow and I'm going to pack this onto the outer corner of my eye using my double-ended BCC brush. I'm using the synthetic side because it's a dome-shaped brush so it's a little bit more precise and it really gets right into the crease of the eye. I'm blending this in the outer corner, bringing it about halfway into the center of the lid. So really take your time with this, it's better to build your colour slowly rather than to go in and pack it all at once. It definitely gives a more flawless finish and a more professional look as well. Um, so when you get the right intensity then you can go in and line your tight line or even just press some black eyeshadow right into the base of the lashes. This gives a more dark and more defined look to the lid. Next I'm going in with um, a Max Humid and also a little bit of a, a, an eyeshadow from NYX as well just to lighten it up slightly for me because it was a bit too dark and I'm just packing this right onto my lid again using a blank canvas cosmetics brush. I will leave all the brushes I use um, in the description box as well in case you're wondering and then I'm going in with a clean blending brush and just blending everything together. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply some gel liner, I'm going for a very thin line for this look. If you're struggling with your liner, simply use your lashes as a bed and just place your brush on the lash line and just press on the liner and this will give you the most perfect line. And now you can go ahead and apply some lashes if you desire and then moving on to the face, stipple on your foundation. I'm using the Rimmel's 25 hour as usual and then just packing on some powder on top to seal in the foundation. Now I'm so excited, I'm using my new brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics, it's a contouring brush, it is amazing, like check out those cheekbones, I'm so excited. It's the best brush in the world. It's really like the NARS Ita brush. Anyways, next I'm taking my Blush Cosmetics blush oh, and I'm just applying this right onto the apples of my cheeks and then taking a small little brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics again. I'm going to pack this on right from the inner corner of the eye down to the tip of the nose and right out to the temples and this is really going to highlight the center of the face is what we really want. Then moving back to the eyes I'm just sweeping a little bit of the mid-tone and the brown eyeshadow we use from the Stila palette. Just sweeping this right on, on the lower lash line and also lining the waterline as well with some black liner. So then moving on to the brows I'm just going to fill them in with benefits it's browsing. So browsing is the most important thing in my life right now. They just completely frame the face and give an overall finish to the look. So what you do is you take an angled brush and you just blend your powder and your wax right under the brow to give a really sharp line and then you blend upwards and this is just going to give a very natural finish to the brow. Then I'm brushing out with a little spoolie just to give a more natural finish. And lastly but definitely not least I'm going to line my lips and really take your time doing this because again the longer you take at it it's just going to give a more professional finish to the look. Then I'm going to pop on some of my Tarte Lip Stain in Hope and then finish off with some NARS Turkish Delight. And that's pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all my lovely subscribers and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!